What's up guys? So here are a pair of Stinger radar detectors. Uh, on the left we've got the Stinger DSi, on the right we've got the Stinger VIP. Uh, the DSi is the older generation, uh, only really useful overseas, whereas the VIP is the newer one, uh, better performance, better pretty much everything, and uh, also useful here in the States. Uh, I was sent both of these ones for testing, and since uh, I happen to have both of them here on hand at the same time, I figured I'd do a video uh, just kind of comparing, you know, physically the different components, the sizes, all that good stuff, so, uh, you know, we can see kind of what the similarities and differences are. So, uh, let's take a look. What are we looking at here? Well, uh, this is going to be our uh, patch antennas. Again, on the left, we've got the Stinger DSi. On the right, we've got the Stinger VIP. Uh, over here, we've got the actual computer, uh, the main computer, the brains, you know, everything plugs into there. We've got the uh, displays right here. And then over here, we have the uh, speaker. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, different components side by side and just see what they're like. So uh, here is going to be the Stinger DSi antenna. It's more of a boxy shape, relatively thick compared to the other one. Uh, you'll see it has kind of this uh, square shape and has these little bumpers here. Um, this is a used unit, and uh, Jacques Dubon actually picked it up on eBay and sent it to me for testing, so big, big thank you there. Uh, so this was pulled from a car, so you'll see there's kind of like, you know, extra cables and stuff. This is not a brand new unit. So we've got that here. Um, here is the VIP. You can see it's a more uh, rectangular antenna, and it's also a lot thinner. So you can see how thick that is versus this guy here. Uh, the antenna is a lot thicker. So different design. Uh, from what I understand, this guy's performance is much, much better, and he can also detect frequencies that we get here in the States while he does not. So uh, there's the antennas. If we take a look at the actual computers, it uh, looks like they use the same housing, same plastic case, so not a big deal there. If we take a look at the actual ports on the side, uh, very similar, not exactly the same, but uh, you'll see pretty much the same idea. Maybe they changed some of the connectors. Not a big deal, but okay. If we take a look uh, on this end, same sort of thing. We've got our USB ports. Uh, change one of the USB ports. Cool, whatever. Um, internally, I'm sure they're pretty different as far as uh, you know performance and features. Uh, I don't really know much at all about the DSi. The VIP is also new to me, so I couldn't tell you about the guts and specs and all that. But anyways, as you can see, uh, that's the bottom. Same plastic housing it worked before, so they're using it again. We've got our displays here. On the left is the DSi. Uh, we've got it's like four rubber buttons here along the side, and we have four buttons here on the bottom. On the VIP, I believe you can press the S as your stinger button, and this is also a touch screen. So since it's a touch screen, we don't need buttons around there. Um, this one is going to be a color screen, whereas this guy is pretty much just kind of black and white text. Uh, I power it up, but I don't have a power connector on here yet, and this guy isn't working properly, so I'm not going to be able to test him, unfortunately. But anyways... We can take a look at the design. You'll see it uh, is a different design. They both have these removable uh, like face plates, basically, and they magnetically connect to the uh, back plates. So we've got here, it's the VIP, and we can pop this off. It comes right off here on the uh, DSi. So pretty cool there. That's how those guys work. And then finally, we'll take a look at the speakers. You know, they both got speakers they plug in. Uh, main thing you'll notice is the size. Uh, DSi on the left, it is much bigger. VIPs is much smaller, so very cool. I uh, noticed also, put them up, maybe this will be a good way of doing it. You'll notice the, uh, will it stand? I know it's kind of on the, the cable there. There we go. So you'll notice, <laughs> anyways, what I've been trying to say is this guy's a lot thinner. Uh, not a lot, but whatever here do this. You guys can see. I know this is silly. It's like, how thick is a speaker? Who cares, really? But um, it is much more compact. If you take a look, you'll see the, uh, the VIP on the right. It's definitely a thinner speaker, and it's much smaller uh, this way, too. So anyways, whatever. Smaller, uh, easier to stuff somewhere in your vehicle. I do like that. I don't know how they compare in terms of volume or anything. But anyways, there's a look at the uh, two different detectors. Uh, a little more disorganized now. But we've got the VIP on the right and the DSi on the left.